Because of the following special program, Wonder Woman and the Incredible Hulk will not be presented this evening. It's time to get all your Star Wars news in a single file. This is Making Tracks. Here are your hosts, Mark Nubo and Dave Tree. That's not true. That's impossible. It seems figures. So as I mentioned, bread and butter of the line. Uh, we announced a lot of these uh, for the Han Solo movie, a lot of our fall 2018 items, and then some more at Comic-Con. So you're seeing here kind of this back row of Han Solo figures, the Imperial Patrol Trooper, L337, Rio Durant, and Val. Uh, finishing out uh, for 2018, our Han Solo line. Uh, some classic ones. Uh, we always talk about this. You know, it's a, it's a balance of getting out the new entertainment, and obviously, you know, now... We heard the announcement last night uh, about more information on the Jaw Favreau, John Favreau execution. So multiple forms of entertainment, but we obviously have to balance them with getting the classics out. So had never done Leia Hoth or uh, Lando in his skip guard outfit, so getting those out. And then obviously Dengar finishing out the Bounty Hunter set. Uh, in the front row, uh, we see two items announced and revealed at San Diego Comic-Con, uh, helping us to bring that uh, Rebels set to a close. And then these two are actually being seen for the first time here in the U.S. Uh, we announced and revealed uh, Han Solo in his Minban Trooper disguise at Mexico Unboxing Toy Convention. And we announced Dryden Voss at Canada Fan Expo. So uh, we mentioned at San Diego Comic-Con that we would be doing that. Uh, basically, we realized... You know, this is a global business. Uh, fans around the world love Star Wars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Why are we, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Why are we only uh, going to San Diego Comic Con? So we wanted to go to more events. Um, so Share Mexico, the love. exactly. Share the love. Mexico yeah. and Canada. We'll be uh, we'll be at a few more later this yeah. year, and we'll talk about and, those. And on those our announcements are usually kind of like one or two figures. And yeah. It's not yeah. like oh, is that all they're announcing? It's because we're taking that full amount of announcing, just kind of spreading yeah. it around yeah. a bit. Yeah. So it's cool. Absolutely. So those are six-inch figures. Now, we also announced at San Diego Comic-Con our new line of archive figures. So this is, a, this is very exciting to me. So this came out of kind of this, this thought and this insight of, we talked to a lot of fans who are like, these are all great. Like, I definitely want these, but how can I have Dengar without Boba Fett or uh, IG-88? Yeah. Is that yep. right? Uh, or uh, Boss. Boss. Yeah, Lamia. those are the ones that we did. For Lam, yeah, we did this here. We need all of those as well. You know, how can we have F4 Leia that you guys did in 2016 without that F4 uh, Luke Skywalker pilot? So we announced that archive line, and we had a lot of conversations about the right way to get those figures back out into the line. And so we settled on kind of a new packaging style. We'll actually be in a live stream on sci-fi.com tomorrow at 5 p.m. showing that packaging and talking about that process for the first time. Uh, we didn't want to just re-release the figures because then people who bought them the first time are kind of like, well, you know, I went all that effort. Like, <laughs> well, that had a little bit of figure now. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's kind of how we settled on the archive execution. But for our existing fans, obviously applying that photo reel deco, yeah. uh, as we discussed. That's our first wave, uh, the ones that we announced at San Diego Comic-Con. But under these beautiful black boxes are our fall 19 waves. So our new additions to the archive line. Um, so we'll do a little, a little drum roll. This will get, this will get irritating. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, yeah. Our first archive <laughs> for Fall of 19 is you can't have Luke Skywalker without his Jedi Master Yoda. Oh. So I think this is the first time, no, Luke uh, at Comic-Con had the photoreal deco, but Yoda is the first time in the archive line that we're applying the photoreal deco to a creature. Yep. Um, so obviously, key character. We should say, we talked about this in the last session, kind of how we choose which items go into the archive line. It's a combination, it's conversations with fans, it's comments on the sites, we do read those <laughs> like early in the morning, uh, we read them all. It's seeing kind of what they're selling for. If there's yeah. a figure that's selling for $150, like that shows that there are fans out there that want them. And then we also just kind of put it through a prism of like, you know, this is our greatest hits, this is our Hall of Fame, like which characters, which figures 
do we feel like are amazing and figures it, and deserve and to be there? And it's cool because Yoda kind of hit the sweet spot of all of those. He's not the most expensive on the third, on the sort of tertiary market, but you know he's hard to get. He's a classic character, and in my opinion, needed an update in terms of deco. Mm. Yeah. And so the photo reel on Yoda, especially with his large eyes, yeah. oh, <laughs> really, really get a good job on him. So I'm really excited that he's yeah. going to come out and be the definitive Yoda. Absolutely. Yeah, he's improving, so that's good. So he's the first in our Fall 19 archive line. Also rounding out the archive line. You can't have Yoda or Luke Skywalker without... R2. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's the next you know, we did, line there. So we did talk about him. That's another good thing. So we obviously just released R2 in the 40th anniversary line last year. So we were like, well, maybe give him a few more years. Uh, but almost as good, uh, Anakin Skywalker, I'm more obviously. I was yeah. also, yeah. <laughs> On the secondary market, yeah. yeah. <laughs> obviously kind of central to the whole Star Wars line on very expensive on the secondary market. Yeah. Anakin Skywalker, again, with the photoreal deco applied to both of his heads, yeah. uh, coming with that same alternate head. head. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> he is the alternate head have Sith eyes, or what is yes. what's, what's yep. the yeah. alternate Yeah, it'll have a Sith eyes, yeah. yeah. So again, taking advantage of that photoreal, especially on a on expression faces, yeah. kind of cool. So we don't often do many expression faces. Absolutely. So uh, he's a good one. Yeah. And then our final one that we're announcing today. So this one's kind of cool. We realized, you know, we released both of these in the normal uh, six inch figure mainline expression, but we release figures uh, elsewhere as well in, you know, convention exclusives in, you know, different price points like these characters. And we wanted to give those kind of a second shot as well. So our third one for the fall of 19, we'll, we'll get rid of the whole front row, is okay. our Biker Scout Trooper. So yeah, oh, that's good, yeah. so thank you. Uh, so that guy was obviously released in 2013 uh, along with the speeder bike. And some people got him then, uh, but we realized that you know if you don't want the speeder bike, you just want the character. Bringing him out, troop builder, obviously OT character. So excited to bring my him to the air. I think he's probably my favorite yeah. trooper design. He's my yeah. favorite character in the entire universe. Right? Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Okay, that's that's why we recovered from the art. <laughs> <laughs> You've outdone yourself. I thought, I thought so he was going to have to go out the window. <laughs> there we go. So our archive line for fall of nineteen, and again, tune into the live stream for a discussion about the packaging. And now I will hand it you off. You will hand it. Yeah. 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 So you can see we've got the Dewback and Empress Ness uh, swoop bike there. You know we. We've been doing um, different price points from the regular 1999 for a while now. We've had Ray Speeder, we've had Luke Speeder. You know, we've had in, if you go further back, we've had the sort of $40 deluxe yep. version. Um, and you know, we've always been kind of somewhat restricted in a sort of 1999 in terms of like what can fit in the pack, what can we afford for 1999. And we've you know we've put out a couple of exclusive Moloch and Gamorian Garda that are sort of higher price point that have got more plastic, more soft goods and all that kind of stuff, which has gone really, really well. So we've decided to kind of start doing the larger figures, the figures that people have been asking for and we haven't been able to, to deliver. So underneath this slightly larger uh, black box, we have our first reveal uh, for today, which is a, a larger figure. It's going to be $29.99. It's going to be mainline, so it's not going to be an exclusive. And um, I'm going to ask kind of but what is the first larger figure that you would expect us to have to do because we've been asking for for seemingly years? Wampa? Yeah, I was going to say Wampa. I was just thinking, yeah. 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 It's yeah. not that. It's this is new, so this yeah. isn't an archive oh, yeah. like, re-release. Oh, yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. 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 Oh, this, this isn't in the archive no. line? Is no, this is new. Oh, this, is, brand this is brand new. Oh, I'm just going to Oh, yeah. 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 It's not our two. It's not our Oh, Grievous! We got to town with Grievous. So Grievous was something we've been wanting to do for ages and ages and ages. And we could fit him in here. He just wouldn't have four lightsabers and he right. wouldn't have the cape and he wouldn't and it's a cape with different colours either side, so it's double stitching. Um, so we said, okay, let's do the twenty nine ninety nine. Number one, you know, one of the probably I wanna say probably the number one requested six inch figure that yes. people have been asking for. Um, he has split arms, so you can actually mm -hmm. fold the arms back in so it creates two arms or splits open to have the four arms. Comes with all his lightsabers, as I said, double kind of double stitched um, cape. He'll have pockets in the cape to kind of keep all the uh, all the accessories. It's probably this is a prototype, so it's not poseable, but it's I think it's like 28. I want to say 28 to 30 points of articulation. So our most articulated figure. He's crazy, crazy good. Um, love him. Are the, love are him. the blades so, removable from the hilt? Yes. Hang so on. you can okay. pop those back in there. So at last. I can tell people shut up yeah. when they keep asking. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Grievous? Where's Grievous? Where's Grievous? So he's here. So this will usher in a new, a new kind of skew wave of, of figures, of sort of slightly larger ones mm -hmm. that we'll be able to do. And Steve touched on this, but he is actually our most requested figure. Yep. Uh, we actually did. I don't know if you guys know. Uh, two years ago, we did kind of a research study uh, through Hasbro Toy Shop yeah. that got posted on I think Jedi Temple Archives, mm. and Grievous was on there. He was the most requested, and we were banging our heads against our wall, and we were like. 
I'll just release him at thirty dollars yes. and do them right. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we want to do them right. So he'll he'll um, he'll introduce some new prequel figures that we kind of hinted at, which we'll see between now and the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Fields. And Will his packaging design size be much different than the standard um, size? It'll or? probably fit into the same pattern. Okay, like the glory. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. same design, slightly deeper, slightly wider. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. So, have you, have you been surprised by the Gamorrean success? Because that's like the figure that everyone is. It is. Getting. Well, I'm not. I am, and I'm not. It's like yeah. it was. It's a great figure. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a great, great figure. I think. Um, I just wish I could have got the photo real. I couldn't get the photo because yeah. the way it's, his eyes are too in, uh, too recessed. To be able to kind of do that process. Five years from now, we will announce the I, archive. Yeah, no, the there you go. There you go. Yeah. And you know, it's a business plan. No. Um, so we were kind of inspired by the prequels and kind of all the prequel love that's kind of coming back and and uh, we're kind of looking back and the Clone Wars was being, you know, it was announced and we look back at that Clone Wars, we look back at the earlier, I can never say the guy's name, Tartotovsky? Tartotovsky. I'm going to call him Tarty. Tarty's, uh, <laughs> Tarty's um, uh, animation series, which is kind of cool. And as you know, the Black series takes any sort of stylization of an animated character and makes them into real life, as mm-hmm. if it's stepped off the live action movie. So we had some fun with an exclusive that was coming to Walgreens, Walgreens in spring. Fall. Yeah, spring. No, fall. Fall. I'm sorry. I'm fall terrible. or 19. And uh, so we're just going to announce that to go with that, we've got uh, Obi Wan in clone armor, which is. I keep saying he was my favorite. He's one of my favorite oh. exclusives this year, just because it's an F3 um, Obi Wan face sculpt with photo reel, so he's really cool. And just, I just love the the, the tarties, <laughs> the tarties out of the armor, and just the way the the, the, the the robes kind of flow with it. So he's kind of cool. So we can you can kind of have those two at it. I think I think Pierre was your favorite at Comic Con, so he's. It's got a single tier Pierre, going oh, poor down old this Pierre. plastic bit. <laughs> more like Pierre. Yeah, no. uh, yeah. Pierre, yeah, Pierre's so like that. So, <laughs> so, like, so, 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 so Obi-Wan's a Walmart exclusive. Walmart exclusive. Walgreens. 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 And Mainline. Cool. That's, That's that. That's that. All right. That's everything. Yep. And we're going to go over to the, the, the Skyflash Gorilla. Can I just, gorilla just gorilla. say this? Walgreens. Obviously, we don't have many Walgreens elsewhere. So, will there be availability across the rest of the world on this? Any distribution questions on that? Or maybe it'd be like a Walgreens online? Yeah. No, no, so any. What about international? Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, any retail exclusive where the retailer isn't in that country, yep. um, they're allowed to bring him mainline in other ways, find a different retail partner. So, a Walgreens exclusive, if you do not have Walgreens in UK, the UK, yeah. It does not mean you won't get him. Now, obviously, we know we have, you know, we work through our distribution challenges. If no retailer comes forward, it can be mainline. So okay. it's just figuring that out. There's obviously a lot of complexities, but yes, yeah. we are going to try to get him to the UK. Yeah, because we can we can get them, but yeah, you have to go through oh, really? specialist suppliers, yeah. Yeah. and mm-hmm. it just causes all sorts of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Question of us not. No, no, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's kind of where I was. So going. it's exclusive yeah. to the states, <laughs> yeah, but it's not. Got, it's got no, to be the, exclusive yeah. to Walgreens in the states, yeah, yeah. and any other country that has Walgreens. Yeah. Elsewhere, elsewhere, it's basically like Rivas. Like if a retailer wants to take him exclusive, great. If not. Then if they're able to bring him mainline, they will. Right, brilliant. And he'll be at the standard twenty dollars price point. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because I think that's an important message for us to publicize. Yeah. There's, there's this perception that, that it's not even being thought of. You no, know, it's, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, always well, allowed. It's just <laughs> through my calendar. We've got that's, lots that's of what I'm meetings saying. about <laughs> yeah. just how to figure it out. Yeah. And the doors open. Yeah. Yep. Hello, I'm Warwick Davis, and you're listening to Fanta Tracks. All right. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Excellent. Let's go down and scale. Or, or, say up or up in size. Down scale, up in size. So, the barge, I'm sure wow. a couple of you have heard about the barge. <laughs> yeah. um, it's been an incredible success. I've been so grateful and so happy that we've managed to do this. Um, this, in fact, is one of the very few EPs, so an uh, engineering prototype that's come in from the vendor. It comes into us, and it's like the first shot, the first go at, a, at the vendor, kind of working with all the artists that are there, putting it all together. And they send it to us and they go, what do you think? You know, tear apart, look at it. And we expect things to be loose, we expect things not to fit, we expect things to be wrong. Um, but we just kind of wanted to share with you guys, um, you know, what it looks like. You know, there are some things we need to improve. I need to get, make sure that this, this sail's getting taut. But overall, as I put this together, I was like, wow, for an EP, this is pretty good. Um, it all fits together nicely, the deco's looking good. It's missing some of the... Um, the texture, we still got to put sort of engraved wood texture and metal plating textures in there, but um, that's where we are. So we're kind of working on um, 
uh, packaging and checking out the EPs. We've got, uh, as you're probably aware, the sort of monthly sort of updates with videos and things like that. We've got a special sneak peek at the panel on Sunday at the next one, which is really cool. Um, so I just wanted to make sure you kind of saw it. And, uh, you know, we've got a, a yak, I've got our, our samurai in there, and we've got, we've got Klaatu. This, I'm so happy with this guy. <laughs> so this is actually, yeah, this is actual kind of, kind of first shot. So, you know, we're getting, sometimes when we do prototypes, we put washes on it. And it's like, ah, it's never going to look like that. But actually, Klaatu, actually, you'll see in a minute in his pack. I've probably spoiled it. <laughs> uh, I'm really pleased that we're actually starting to get get really close to when we do the, what we do on the prototype. So I'm really happy that we're kind of marrying that together. And you can see, you know, we, we're, these are still prototypes, but you know, we've got the new Trooper there, we've got the Death Star Gunner, we've got Lando, all the sort of new French Recall range. So and the stand is just where there's the acrylic legs. Those yeah, are. Yeah, these are acrylic legs. So these okay. these are removable. So if someone wants to work really hard to get it to hover or <laughs> up high, yeah. they can. Okay. Um, but yeah, and you know, the sails come off. It's it's coming together really well. So I'm really really happy with that. I think we have in there the Leia Bush as well uh, was revealed did, at yeah. uh, Mexico she's Unboxing Toy Convention. So this is the first time she's being shown. Uh, with the photo reel deco, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Photo reel deco. Yeah. She will be the first figure in vintage to have that photo reel yes, deco. She will. Yeah. Yes, she will. So yeah, that's good. first time shown in the U.S. Okay. So I'm going to do this top one, Arthur. That's yeah. right. Yep. So um, I don't know whether you've noticed. I'm sure you have. Is that everyone's gathering all their figures in readiness? It's almost like having a new baby. You're kind of getting the nursery ready. Everyone's like <laughs> gathering in. Oh, I've got my skiff. I've got this guy. I've got all this stuff. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And people are putting pictures out on Facebook of just the table with like nothing on it. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so you know we're going to try and help sort of kind of bring new figures. We've got uh, Klaatu and, and, and Yak Face, and we want to kind of kind of bring back a few figures to sort of help out with that. And I've mentioned that if we bring back new figures, so if we bring back new figures, it's an oxymoron. If we bring back existing figures, um, they'll keep their VC numbers. So we're going we're gonna to re-release. We're going to re-release the Gamorrean guy. So make sure that he's available. Um, he'll be a shared, ex shared fan exclusive. Shared fan exclusive. Shared so, exclusive. I don't know. Yeah. So hopefully people will be able to get hold of him because I know you need you need lots of these guys to kind of fill up the uh, fill up the barge. So and without telling too much, we've got other things in the pipeline to kind of help with the barge experience to deck out your nursery with your baby <laughs> when he or she comes. So uh, there we are. Absolutely. Um, so under these cake boxes right here, so Steve spoiled the surprise. Uh, <laughs> but no, we talk. We actually talk a lot uh, at Hasbro about how we we do this whole dog and pony show, right? Like do this thing about new product reveals, and then the packaging literally it just shows up on a shelf somewhere, like usually in Asia because they're obviously closest to where we produce it. And like someone snaps a picture, and it's like that's kind of a miss. Uh, <laughs> we actually had a brainstorm about how to like you know bring you guys more information. So we realized we should start you know sharing that with you in a more intentional way, and especially with the vintage collection where. You know, the packaging is as important as the product. Like, it's that 41-year legacy, like those, you know, that same structure, that blister card that we all knew when we were kids. So uh, we're going to start uh, doing that and revealing, you know, it's just kind of a bonus reveal, basically, of the packaging for our vintage figures. So um, all of these guys uh, were seen at San Diego Comic-Con, all of our 2018 items. But our first wave of 2019 uh, that has Leia Bouche and Salt Moray, uh, <laughs> Salt Mara, uh, Klaatu, and the Scarif Storm. <laughs> Trooper, uh, we've got the packaging right here, and we'll show it to you right now. So, um, first one up is hopefully I don't knock it down. Oh, there! Oh, nicely done. Oh, so we can turn the other boat. So there we go. So up, up. So our first one is Klaatu. Oh, so you can see him right there exactly, and Steve yeah. can tell you a little more about the inspiration. Look at the wash. Look <laughs> <laughs> right, at the wash. That's cool. So. This, this yeah, you know, personally, this is an incredible journey for me. Because you know, I collected all these and kind of. As a kid, I didn't even really think about what went into the packaging. It was just, oh, that's a cool picture. Mm -hmm. um, when we went back to do these, we obviously went to Lucasfilm and went into the archives and said, okay, we need that picture of, of Klaatu, you know, that one. And uh, they go, oh, here's, here's all the Klaatu images. Here it is. And it's like, it's cropped like here. You know, and it's just like, <laughs> and then when you look back at that, you know, having, being graphics, a graphics major, I look at that and go, that's really bad the way it's made. It's terrible. <laughs> and we were like, to our, to our packaging team and say, make it the same as that. And they go, but it's really crap. <laughs> and it's like, it's got to be the same. So it's like bad Photoshop yeah. just to make it look and fill out that pattern, which is like <laughs> so weird to yeah. do, but it's, it's so charming and so kind of authentic. So um, 
Yeah, we've got other stories. It's amazing how the packaging produces so many, almost yeah. more stories than the yeah. actual figure itself. So, Klaatu was a fun one. It's the first one we did and realized that we had to make it bad. Yeah. <laughs> we had similar conversations on our 40th anniversary line last year, and me as the, you know, I'll say ignorant marketer, I'm like, we have the images, like, just blow them up. And it's like, well, no, the packaging is like, you know, it's not a perfectly to scale, so you got to crop it in different yeah. places and it would cut something out. So, lots of conversations about the right way to do that uh, by fans. So. So that is Claw 2, our first package. And you'll notice he's not in a massive bubble. Yes. So we've got the small, medium, large bubbles. We figured out the bubbles. <laughs> yes. All of the conversations about vintage packaging and execution, we've had lots of meetings about those yes. as well. So yes. we're, we're we working hard to get after them all. Time to get all your Star Wars news in a single five. Welcome to Making Tracks. Our next one, then. So this is that was obviously you know classic character from the uh, '80s. This is our Scarif Stormtrooper. So first time this packaging has ever been seen, and it looks like this. Ooh, so you can oh, see nice. that movie still there from Rogue One, uh, which Steve can tell you. Well, about. you say it's a movie still. It's not actually a movie. Still. I set so that up very the nicely. Here's the thing. So here's the thing. <laughs> like in the olden days. They were producing this figure, the Kenner was producing that figure as Jedi was being filmed, and it was a mad scramble to say, right, okay, we're doing this figure, what have you got of them? What, give me, a, I need a picture. And they would literally would go out on set and go, hey, you, just turn around, and take the picture. Actually, that's Billy Dee Williams' son, I think. Cool. Yeah. 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 Um, so, hey, Corey, turn around. And then they gave it to Kenner. Yeah. Similar with us, although much more secretive. So uh, we're making this figure as they're, as, Rogue One was still hadn't been released, I think, and we were still yeah. kind of we didn't have movie film uh, stills, so we have to kind of sometimes take set shots and studio shots and kind of comp them together, much like they did in the olden days. So there's this sort of truth of <laughs> how we're doing it now, albeit 40 years later and so much more technology technologically advanced, but we're still kind of making things up because Everything we're working in parallel. So it's kind of it's kind of weird, but it's kind of charming. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Scarif Stormtrooper. Mm -hmm. And then our final two packages, I assume this is, yep, yeah, same thing. So, our Leia Bush we talked about, this will be her packaging for Spring of 19. So, ah, nice. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Classic one. This is the only one that we can't actually take pictures of. It's okay. hot off the presses from our production. It has a serial number there. Right. For IP security reasons, we yeah. can't do that. But I can like put my <laughs> start my career as a hand model, <laughs> basically, <laughs> and get discovered. So that is our Leia Bush. And on and on that one, you can see, you know, there was a very quick discussion about. Oh, what size blisters does she have? And it was like, she better have that separate bubble for the, yeah. for the helmet. Yeah. Yeah. You better make it look bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. Make, it look, make it look bad by making it look brilliant or yeah. the other way around. So, yeah. So, all the all the ones that harken back that have Kenner equivalents where the, the helmet is separate will match yeah. that as well. Yeah. No matter yeah. how aesthetically odd it looks. Yeah. <laughs> and then our cool. final one, obviously, Salt Marais. Yes. I keep putting like a French accent sure. in there. I don't I'm know not why. sure if that's how you pronounce yeah. it. Or You're the expert. Sailed. I don't know. Sailed Mere, I think. Oh, is. Oui. There we go. Très bien. This is what that packaging looks like right there. <laughs> so classic, classic. He's a big there. boy. Yeah. yeah. He is a big boy. So interesting story on this one. So this is um, for those eagle eyed amongst you, when we announced this with the barge campaign, we put out an image of that and it was um, it was the wrong image. It had him like that yeah. rather than like that. Mm -hmm. So and we, we kind of knew that, and the story behind it was, couldn't find the original, didn't exist. Luca, Luca's archives, couldn't find it. It's like, come on, it's, it's, got his, it's obviously the same shot, it's like done that, and then done that. Couldn't find that one. So uh, we searched high and low, yeah. and it got very annoying. <laughs> but we, uh, so in the end, we had to take that one and digitally comp in yeah. that one, because it was like, I can't have him with his arm up, he's got to have his arm down. And <laughs> luckily for us, it's kind of, he's a little wider, and the, the, the aspect crop is different from the Power of the Force and the Tri Logo one, so we can kind of fudge it. So, just going to be honest with you, it's not the right photo, but it is now. <laughs> yeah, either. So it's it's those stories. That's what that's what makes this so it's joyful. Still looks good. Yeah. So. Thank you. It's what makes it joyful. Just it's your archaeology, isn't it? Little, it is little stories. Each one of those has got a little story. Yeah. It's just it's just images. It's yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely. Our vintage tour continues at our side table. Yeah, just quickly, I mean, this is stuff we've probably already kind of seen before. You know, we've got the tank out there. I'm really happy with the response we're getting on the tank. The amount of level, the level of detail that Marks and the team, uh, Marcus and the team have got into that, I'm really, really pleased with. It's wonderful. Um, wave two and three are hitting now, which is good. I'm glad to see them kind of getting out there a little bit more. Um, at the Afro card is kind of cool. Afro's really neat. 
you know, we got the um, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This kind of epitomizes what we try and do with exclusives. We try and get them out so they are exclusives, hence the name. But then we also allow, you know, we spread out the sort of the heart of what that exclusive is into mainline so it's available for other people. Um, unpunched for exclusives. I've said that before, that'll always be the case. But we do have to punch when we go to retail because we don't like little confetti around everywhere. How did you determine the, uh, the artwork to be used for, for Afra's card back? You know, not necessarily her, but the background imagery. Is, it's, is that somebody just grabbed him a comic? Uh, no, it's, it's pain well. Or? This one actually was a. There was a. It was a. Uh, the graphics team kind of looked at the comics, found sort of key poses, and it's not an exact. I don't believe it's an exact replication of a frame, but it's just it's just trying to capture the essence. It's okay. like okay, she's slightly kind of sassy. She's very confident. She's not going to be. She's just she's cocky. She's like a, the sort of Indiana Jones of, of of that. So it's like, what's her pose? What she should be? Ethnicity is kind of interesting because you get lots of different ethnicities within the comics. Lots of different variations on it. So the the guys the the, the team love doing ones that are difficult. So it's sort of out okay. of comics and things, or ones that aren't on film. They like doing. Um, uh, Phasma was announced at Canada, Canada. Canada so yeah. you know, kind of car back there, and uh, there we are. So vintage collection kind of keeps keeps motoring. And last thing there on the tank. Um, so I think as we've discovered with the barge campaign, like you, you know, you guys love seeing the behind the scenes of kind of how the sausage is made. Uh, so also at the live stream uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m., we'll be doing a deep dive. Uh, Steve yeah. will be into the tank. We're going to be bringing a uh, show and tell, a lot of different I'm kind of models. Apart. Exactly. I'm going to rip one have apart. A heart yeah. Want to rip because no one wants to rip their own one apart. Yeah. There's so much detail yeah. hidden <laughs> inside. It, we might just bust one open. Exactly. People might cry if you do that. You know that, right? That's all right. <laughs> There we go. So tune in there to see the behind the scenes of the barge, and then we'll have later this fall, we'll have some more assets come in uh, digitally that kind of show behind the scenes for some items. Hi, this is Gareth Edwards, director of the best standalone Star Wars film since Caravan of Courage called Rogue One. You're listening to Panther Tracks. Enjoy. Um, so that is our fan line uh, for our adult and kid fans. Uh, but obviously we have a very vibrant kind of kid line as well uh, with these fun toys. Uh, so we'll talk through those quickly as well. Uh, so right here we have our role play items. So role play is kind of the foundational to the Star Wars line. It's how most of us first kind of learned about Star Wars toys uh, with these role play items. If it's uh, kind of more recently or those, uh, was it the tissue paper ones from like the 80s, those late 70s? What was that? Tissue paper? Used paper toilet rolls. Yeah, actually. exactly. Yeah. Something like that. Um, so we've come uh, a bit of a way since then. Uh, so our Fall 18, uh, these are out in market right now, uh, premium uh, kind of kid lightsabers are these auto extension lightsabers. So obviously that flick to extend you know, thing is cool, but I have always wanted to just stand there with my lightsaber <laughs> and ha press it and have it extend, um, and that is what these do. So if you want to be Kylo Ren, I know, yeah, do not point this at anything <laughs> no. in your life. Nice. I know, exactly. Like, these are obviously more kid targeted, but like, even I as a fan, like, I kind of want that. Like, force effects to auto extend, that's what we'll do in the future. So, Kylo Ren, and then obviously our Jedi version as well. Yeah, I think cool. you just say we're going to do an auto extend force effect. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that oh, works. Like Polycarbonate, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, obviously cool action. I did, I've always been a little scared of these. Uh, so I did try it on my leg. It doesn't hurt that much. So, um, so that's that. And then obviously uh, masks as well. So you know we did the Chewbacca mask three years ago. Uh, Chewbacca mom was great. So we thought you know we have to follow that up with a Yoda version. Um, so you know I wish it's not out of packaging. I wish I could. If only we had one out of packaging uh, that someone could. We, we need to put this in. Oh, there we go. We, we picked this, the right we hotel room. <laughs> I might have to wear it again. Yeah, yeah. I want this to go viral. <laughs> I've got a long face. If, um... <laughs> if you post nothing. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love seeing Steve's mouth behind, like, with the teeth. That's great. You gotta play it up more my, if you're gonna come up. My ears are big as that. The black dog. So he just can't, can't. It's just yeah. stupid. He's ridiculously brilliant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very interesting. Walker's alive! Be gone with him! So that's our kid roleplay line, and Steve's going to talk to you about our resistance oh, my line. My hair's going to get all messed up. There we go. All right, so <laughs> resistance, yeah, we just, um, this morning, uh, we revealed on CNET.com our new resistance line. You know, it's coming out in the uh, in the fall. Um, uh, when, spring, next spring. I'm sorry, the, the, the TV show's sorry. coming out in the fall, and this will be coming out in the spring, give it a few months to kind of bed in with the kids. Um, fun, high energy. Um, we've got a group of heroes 
uh, working for the resistance, trying to find out more about this sort of fledgling First Order, and equally the First Order finding out about the resistance. Uh, you know, layers in it, Poe's in it. Um, going to be a really kind of great fun show. So we have some characters there. Um, we have Kaz, we have Commander Pai, which is a beautiful gold trooper who can resist. Tora Dosa, we have uh, Major Von Reg, we have Sonara, we have Jaeger, we have a trooper, and then we've got Poe with a little BBA. All in this kind of like, kind of cell shaded anime inspired look, which is kind of really cool. What's her name? Sonara? Sonara, yeah. Sonara San, I want to say that. Sonara, definitely. So they all come, a lot of them come with helmets. No banana visors here, you know, I promise that. <laughs> but uh, where we've got like Toro who has the buns and you can't touch the buns in Star Wars, they have to stay. Uh, we've got a pop off head so you can actually swap out her head so she's actually got a, okay. a, a full helmet with face in there as well. Bucket is incredible. I think, unless they glued it, this little helmet comes off, I think. And just in terms of when we saw that design, we were like, oh great, how are we going to make that? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about undercuts. So um, cool, They're, uh, just good fun. It's nice to see the sort of Star Wars um, lore going out to kind of kids of all ages, and uh, so there we are. Are oh, Jaeger and Bucket and Poe and BB-8 twin packs? Yes, they are. Yes, yeah. good call. Yes, they are. Little two packs there. So there we are. Absolutely. Resistance. And over at this side of the room. And talking of cute and squidgy, um, we've got our Thank microforce. So, uh, I'm sure you've already, already seen these. So microforce is our sort of frivolous, irrelevant, irreverent um, kind of. Star Wars line, we've got over 50 little figures out at the moment. Uh, we've got vehicles that are launched as well. And seeing as we're coming towards the end of the year, how time flies, uh, Advent Calendar. So Advent Calendar is hitting the stores now. I've seen them on the Instagram, so people are finding them. So 24 windows, obviously, you get little stickers, you get little kind of cute little Christmas, you want a little pork with a Santa hat on <laughs> <laughs> Who can resist? Yeah. Who can resist? And thus, sales guarantee. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> it folds down to make it like a kind of display area. So, good fun. There we go. That's that. I love I it. Like that. And then last but not least, just to remind you for the holiday season, um, everyone, I want to see lots of chewies under the tree. So we've got our little, little co-pilot chewy. has a hundred phrases. Phrases. Um, Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Phrases. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's a word. Yeah. <laughs> now you can, you can fly him around. You can kind of tickle him. Does he tickle? Yeah. Yeah. He has an accelerometer in him, so he's. Yeah. <laughs> and then. And see if this works. As, as we're talking about nurseries all day today. We Your dad's skills. Can, he actually shut his eyes. He shut yeah. his eyes. Yeah. 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 He's like 22. Yeah. He'll eye. eventually go to sleep. <laughs> Is that how you get your kids to sleep? Shut oh, your mouth. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here, we go. here we go. Here we go. Are you going? I think he's gone. You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets angry. Oh, there we are. So there we have um, co-pilot Chewie. Very angry that she dropped him. Yeah. <laughs> Is that including the new sound files from Solo? Because they're recording new Wookiee sounds, isn't they? Um, they're, they're not specific to Solo, I don't believe. I don't believe... In addition to what Bob did way back I don't know. When. Actually, I don't know, because we did get new sounds. I don't know whether that found its way into it. <laughs> Can we tell if they did? <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Yes, yes they do. I dare anyone to figure out otherwise. Um, so yeah, I think the last thing we would say is again we do have kind of multiple touch. I know, right? Uh, we do have multiple touch points throughout the weekend. So we do have our live stream tomorrow, uh, where we'll be, as mentioned, talking about the archive packaging, the behind the scenes for the tank, and then we've got some new reveals there. Uh, yep. So if you want to see the new items, uh, five o'clock tomorrow on sci-fi.com and then our panel on Sunday 115 at the Javits um, Barge uh, new exclusive updates uh, and then many more reveals there so mm -hmm. hope to see you there so right. I know Hasbro have got a presence because uh, you've, you've got the European exclusive sorry yeah. that's, right, that's right yes, yes absolutely the, 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 yeah. yeah which I will be there for yeah sorry Hasbro has a presence yeah so you, I don't know if, if you we'll or not. bring that down You've got um, Paul Bettany. Paul Bettany's there as well. Oh, interesting. He's just been announced. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. You saw the videos we did when we gave Veers to Junior. Yeah, yes, I did. That was Dee. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Dee was choked up. Keith yeah. also did it. That's right. No yeah. one's ever seen Dee lost for words. No, I was going to say, <laughs> that's awesome. a, yeah, that was great. Thanks for sharing that with me. Oh. That's wicked. Yeah, no, you're right. Hasbro does have a presence. Um, but I think the first time we have. So, yeah. again, kind of like we were saying earlier, like, it was just obvious that we've got fans all over the world, and so yeah. we're working with our markets to do that. Yeah. 
There's a lot of people are now going to MCM yeah. just to get the exclusive. Yeah, yeah it's gone down okay. really well. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we did a panel at uh, MCM last year. That's where we, it was very last minute, yeah. uh, but that's where we ended up revealing our porgs, the Black Series 6 inch oh, porgs. Yeah. 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 Um, European relay still going yeah. ahead? We, yes. We haven't I don't have any details yeah. at this moment, but yeah. it will, we will be uh, allowing a limited number. Um, rest of the world in the spring. Specific Maybe. location it will go to, or has Russia? Uh, can't say. Yeah, I okay. can't say. But there is, it will happen. And similar time to the US release. Yeah, it'll be spring, spring nineteen. Oh, yeah. Spring nineteen. There will be limited, yeah, and it's yeah, limited numbers. Oh, right, yeah. yeah, we yeah, will. Julian, we've right? said we will, and we will. Yeah. And similar price point. Uh, I don't know yeah. the actual price yeah. point. To be perfectly honest, we're still working on. I think in the UK there was a market of put them on the the. Store kids will buy them, yeah. and actually, it's the collectors that are yeah. really clamoring yeah, yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, you can't get a lot of the stuff. Yeah. yeah. So it created this circle of angst, yeah. where there's all the peg warmers. Mm -hmm. The collectors have got this versus, but I can't get the, mm -hmm. all the whole range. Yeah. But it, you're sensing a real change. I know yeah. a lot of the that's good to hear. Online retailers are talking to Hasbro UK. Good. Yeah. Good. Because that's at the yeah. end of it it, it. it is how. The figures we do are the figures we do, and they're the solid packs, right? Mm. Correct. That's saying you can get yeah. them solid packs. Which is a huge, like, it's doing, a huge it's difference. It's like how doing the retailers order. Yeah. yeah. So as the retailers edu educate themselves in terms of what the consumer is and how they get that's the right it. stuff in the right place, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's that's good. That makes me happy. The reason I was out there last fall, the, like I said, the panel came together last minute. We were actually doing our first ever EU fan summit. Yep. So all of the markets came to London, and kind of the global teams flew out there, and so we all met, and we like heard what are your challenges, how can we help you overcome them. So we're having those conversations. Conversations. And they're it, sharing that it's the first time they've been in yeah. an environment where they can yep. say this is what we're trying to do. Yeah. So I, so I have no doubt that in five years <laughs> yeah. it'll be better. Yeah. It's just yeah, as yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it's always the Market's process. Markets change, I don't think. Gotta, yeah. 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 But of course, I've got to ask is when the archive Zuvio's coming out. Oh, yeah, Zuvio. Yeah. Yeah. Got to be done. Yeah. No, that's my focus. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, have you not heard it? I've got 253.75. That's not counting the Black Series. <laughs> I've got 25 Black Series. Oh my gosh. My brother, <laughs> Zuvia, I love him. Oh, uh, gosh. I was going to say, he probably won't come out in archive. You can probably still go and find him yeah. <laughs> somewhere. Try him in the UK. I've got them all. And no matter what anyone tells you, he is in the movie. He is the star. Of the he is in the movie. <laughs> you see him. They run, oh, yeah. Finn, and, Finn and Ray run past him, <laughs> turn something off. Three frames. <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> it's so funny, like... That's a background alien, right? Like, yeah. if we hadn't done a figure of him, he would have been like the that yak face. Don't say that. Yeah. This, this is not background. Don't this say that. About yeah. the, the stories of so, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Definitely the best character in the film. They've yeah. realised he's become this. It's this cult. Cult. Oh, yeah. 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 He's <laughs> an spirit animal, but they don't know who played him. Don't they? No. Okay. Just some fellow on set on that. It was an extra. Brilliant. That they dressed up in. That's cool. Really? He's good. Because he's in my memory shot. It was all my memory shot. Yeah. There's about five people who are trying to track him down from the creature shop. But they're like, no, yes. it, all evidence suggests well, it was just it wow. just, some just a dying suit. We need to find him. <laughs> yeah. there's, your, there's your challenge, find yeah. him. Oh, that's, 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 that's where we're on. That's a great one to say. <laughs> Who is Zuvio? Zuvio. 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 The thing is, whoever did it, they know. They must know. missing out on millions yeah. of like, convention appearances. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of money on the side of it. Yeah. Black Series oh, figures. That's right, they now seem to have a 1995 price point. Which is different than it used to be, right? Better and yeah, exactly. So that. You could, standard Black Series could go for up to 40 quid yeah. online. You're seeing 1995 now. Stuff Good. Off. So that was Good. literally one of our topics of conversation yes. last year. So we're, okay. we're so getting some of this stuff there, but yeah. Yet, but all the retailers are saying the next wave yep. will be. Okay. And I think, I think Piet has come in at yeah. 1995. Yeah. So. Making progress. Yeah. Good, good, good. Thank you guys so much. Fantastic. Oh, All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.